daily drive and uh, daily driven 85 LS powered Pioneer 4x4. Uh, she's a beaut. All my gauges work. My Holly Terminator X is working awesome. Truck's running great. Got 5,000 K on the motor. Tons of oil pressure. No oil loss. Good motor. I mean, I did run a snap on bore scope through it. So um, when I did buy it, and the outside of it looked as good, just as good as it did on the inside. So win-win with the motor. Um, it's it's an awesome platform. My, uh, it's been staying cool. On the hottest day of the year, 38 above, I hit 196, was the hottest I've ever hit in this thing. I haven't even dipped the 200 mark. So, and a lot of you guys know a lot of the stock thermos stats don't even open until 200 or just before 200. So I got a high flow 160 high flow 160 degree summit racing thermostat in this sucker and a 19 by 22 radiator with a 16 inch 2800 CFM fan. Uh, a lot of guys out there on uh, you know the Facebook guys and you know a lot of uh, some of the comments were negative. Oh, that'll never keep that cool. That'll never keep that cool. Well, here we are. I haven't even hit 200 over 200 degrees. So, I mean, if there's one thing I do know, it's cooling. And I won't sit there and pump my own tires. But um, cheers to all the guys who, you know, said that uh, the 19 by 22 would never keep this motor cool. Well, thank you very much. Um, with that being said, you don't need to spend big money on, uh, you know, no, like I'll just put out, uh, you know, Novak there radiators yeah i'm sure they're good i'm sure they're worth every penny but i mean 19 by 22 will do the job so i'm not gonna say don't go with novak stuff i mean i didn't go with theirs because because of the wait time on on say that at that time and building something during covid times is tough so anyways i'll stop bobbering on about that this is supposed to be about you know kind of closing out the build and um putting it away for winter i'm just running fuel stabilizer through it right now um and it's been snowing up north so this is probably going to be this might be the last time this sucker's on the road here for this year until next summer so um yeah it's been awesome it's a great daily driver i'll show some credits after of uh, you know like the dash and all the gauges working which is uh so nice um but uh yeah again thanks uh everybody for subscribing to my ch channel thanks everybody for watching um I thought it was cool when I was at 100 subscribers. Like, seriously. So, um, I just appreciate it so much. I feel blessed. And, uh, you know, big things coming in the future. Uh, maybe not right now, but in the near we are. So, for a rip, as you can see. As promised, as I told everybody right from the beginning, all my factory gauges would work and are working and did work and now work again. So with that being said, if you're gonna perform the swap, the first 13 hours I spent even before taking the original motor out, I basically spent the first 12 to 13 hours labeling every single wire. Um, coming off of that motor right down to the AC trigger wire right down to the alternator trigger wire uh, if I didn't know what the sensor was or what it did on the original motor I pulled that sensor and I seen what was behind it if it was coolant if it was glycol if it was oil uh, you name it I did it um, with that being said I highly recommend if you're gonna be swapping if you're gonna do any type of LS swap of this nature uh, and you want a good clean conversion like this, then pull out the masking tape and pull out, oh, I gotta pull over here. Okay. Um, pull out the masking tape, pull out the permanent marker and label everything properly. That's the proper way to do it. That's the only way you're gonna get all your factory gauges working. The oil pressure sending unit for the for the Jeep uh, is the same resistance as the LS for for the 2.8 liter. And I think I've I'm pretty sure 
they're the same resistance because this motor that came out of here is originally a 2.8 liter Chevy motor. 84 or 85 they had them so um, that that might be why the resistance is the same. I don't know maybe the 4 liter is uh, the same as well. I don't know. I can't speak upon that but as far as uh, everything I mean this motor is plenty healthy. We got well over around 4 bar so I think that translates to around 65 PSI. Correct me if I'm wrong. Somewhere in that neighborhood at idle I was getting 40 PSI which is uh, sorry, 45 PSI. Uh, the down, the lower part of idle should be 40 PSI, 40 to 45 they recommend. So this motor is good and healthy like I thought all along. But uh, there you have it. All the gauges work. I tried to cruise control yesterday. That works as well. So um, she's a clean conversion. She looks, drives, and uh, also performs and all the gauges look like a professional swap like it should and uh, that's how we do it at Lambert Built so thank you very much for watching uh, stay tuned for more great content and uh, have yourself a good weekend as always <laughs>